How's it everybody? Celtic Link here and we're back for another Dokkan battle video. We are 24 days away from Dokkan's 7 year anniversary as of me recording this video. And in today's video we're going to go ahead and talk about pre-farming, getting ready all those units we talked about in our preparation guide in the last two videos. So if you're someone who likes to Dokkan semi responsibly and get yourself prepared for the inevitable units you're going to pull during the seven year anniversary, then why don't you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's start talking farming. All right, so first off, all credits go to Greg Daw over here on Twitter, whose link I will link in the description, but he went ahead through this painstaking effort and put together a visual guide to farming the units. Uh, and whether it's their super attacks or the medals you're going to need for the seventh anniversary banner units so in this video i'll be kind of using his guide as a reference as well as kind of showing you what stages specifically you need to go to and how many medals for the characters you are going to need um for today's video we will focus on the super saiyan gods banner and then in part two we will flip over to the units and the farming for the super saiyan fours banner so let's start with the obvious. Let's start with the Super Saiyan Gods. Over here on the left, uh, Mr. Greg Dahl was kind enough to go ahead and organize it. Left side Gods, right side Super Saiyan 4. So on the left side, let's start with the Super Saiyan Gods. The Super Saiyan Gods, the meadows you can start farming now are basically the 14 and 21 medals from the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta event. The, where is it? The Advent of Omnipotence. Um, you will need 14 of the Super Saiyan, uh, the Super Gogeta medals, which can be gotten from stage one of this Dokkan event. My advice is to go ahead and tackle the Super Stage if you have a team that can do so. And you'll basically get the 14 medals you need in two runs, so a total of 50 stamina. The boss is actually weak to, I believe, Broly characters um, are, yeah, right here down at the bottom. Broly, char Broly and Paragus characters will deal additional damage, so if you have any Super Saiyan Broly's or legendary Super Saiyan Broly's, they will deal additional damage to help you finish the event quicker. From stage 2, you can get the STR LR Gogeta medals. You will need 21 of them, so I recommend running state the super difficulty stage at 25 stamina, and you'll be done in 3 runs for the gods. And that's about all you can do for them for right now, just gathering up those medals. They don't have a grindable super attack at the moment, so for them, that's about all you can do to prepare in the event that you might pull them. Their banner unit, the Broly, you may want to, you're not going to be able to do anything for him aside from grind his super attack from the Dragon Ball Super Story event. That's this story event right here. This event is not currently available, but will be made available uh, in the seven day countdown to the anniversary. If, uh, if they decide to keep things the same as they did on JP. If not, you can go ahead and use your keys and grind through, where is it, stage 2 of this event. Uh, stage 2 will probably be the easiest since the weakness to this event with increased drop rate is Movie Heroes, and you can run a full LR Movie Heroes team at this point. So you'll get a pretty easy chance to pick up the Super Attacks to grind out the Super Attack for the Broly, should you be lucky enough to pick him up. Um, the next banner units that are available on the Gods banner are the Full Power Frieza, which can be awakened from the Full Power Frieza event. Um, you simply need to grind out 77 medals. I'm sorry, not 70 medals. You'll need 35 from Stage 1, and uh, you will need 30 and 30 from, state, from the new Full Power Frieza stage uh, for each of his awakening phases. MUI Goku is the same thing. He can be awakened from the Int master ultra instinct goku event he does not have a grindable super attack but same thing you'll need um 30 from the kaioken goku stage you'll need 30 from the ntui stage and then 30 from the uh mastered ultra instinct stage so if you hadn't grinded out these metals right now you could go ahead and do this um for the boo tanks the boo tanks does have a grind 
I shouldn't say grindable, but a summonable SR uh, super attack. So, like, if you've been collecting these SRs, you might have him. Otherwise, he is pullable on the banner as a SR, so you could pick up him and grind him out uh, to the SSR level and then use him to feed into Boo Tanks should you pull him. Boo Tanks will need the typical LR... Um, the typical LR uh, requirements for leveling them up from this event here, the Terrifying Transforming Majin. You will have to grind out basically every stage under this uh, category in order to get the vents. I think they actually have it here, the medals. Um, yeah, right here. So for... Where is it? Where is it? Scroll down. Here it is. Yeah. So you'll need, basically, for each form of the boot tanks, you'll need 35 medals totaling it uh, from this event in order to fully awaken him to the LR status. So 35 and 35, that's 70. You'll need 14 from stage... Which one is it? Stage 4 um, in order to level him all the way up. And then you'll need 14 and... Or actually, on global, you need 28 from stage three in order to level him up so that's the grind guide for boot tanks uh, most of you if you've picked him up you've probably done this already so this doesn't apply to you this is mostly for people who may not have done it yet now the next one the str lr gogeta he does have a grindable super attack from the once again from the dragon ball super story event he can be grinded out from stage 11 on the event which is, again, weak to movie heroes. So if you want to use movie heroes to increase your drop rate here. Okay. He also is, can be grinded out the metals right now if you didn't have him from the Azure of Omnip... Eh, I'm sorry, not Azure. Advent of Omnipotence uh, Dokkan event by grinding out the metals uh, from this event here. You will need 35 of the Super Gogeta medals. You will need uh, 35 and 35 so 70 total of the str gogeta medals in order to fully level him up all right next on the list we have the tech vegeto he has a grindable super attack from the where is it I have one here somewhere ultimate pair oh did i i closed it out didn't i Oh, no, here it is. The Blazing Botara event. If you take on the Z hard stage of this level, um, you can get a drop of an SSR Vegito who can be used for a 50% chance to raise the super attack of this Vegito. So you can get him up to super attack 10 before awakening him. He will require medals from the this event here, though, to awaken the Blazing Blue Fusion. Um, so he won't use that... that Potara event to level up. He actually needs this event to level up. So if you want to grind him out, if you didn't have him, you will need 35 medals uh, from stage two of this event. You will need 70 medals from stage three of this event in order to grind him out. So you could go ahead and grind these out right now, get all these medals up on the event that you do pull him. Or if you've got, uh, as I mentioned before in my video, if, you, if, you, if this is a modded account of yours, like you, you, or a, what should I say, a botted account, like you got a giveaway account or something, and you have these meta units, but you haven't quite grinded them out, this is a good time to start doing that. The next banner unit on here is the Fizz LR... Goku and Vegeta that transform into Gogeta, and they can be grind they do not have a grindable super attack, but they can be grinded out through this event here. The ultimate pair, the other world. This event will allow you to grind out the medals for the LR Super Gogeta. He needs medals from this event. Um, he does need 35 uh, from each from both stages, so he or from the first stage rather. So 70 total from this stage, and you will also need medals from this stage here. The Imitable Fusion Super Gogeta event. You will need to, um, let's see, medals here. In order to level him up, you will need 35 medals from stage 2 or stage 3 of this event. My event recommendation is to run stage 3 as it will drop 7 medals. Uh, so you can get it done in 5 runs. Um, and then the final units on here are the Int, Goku, and Tech Majin Vegeta. 
Their super attack can be grinded out uh, through Baba, uh, not Baba points, but rather incredible gems available in the Baba shop. So if you're somebody who used to link level grind or you've got a bunch of gems saved up, you can purchase uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku and the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta from the Baba shop using your incredible gems. They are 300 gems a piece. So it is a pretty hefty price, but it's not too bad of a price considering these are unlimited farming, right? So you can go grind out a bunch of incredible gems on stage. I, I, I always go 23-8 because you can link level grind while doing it and get a bunch of gems while you're doing this. Um, these guys need 77 medals from the Super Saiyan 3 Goku event and the Tech Majin Vegeta event. So just know that it's just a straight 77 from each of those events. Uh, so that's it for the banner of the Super Saiyan Gods. That's everything you can farm, everything you need to do in order to prep these units. You can prep just about every unit at this moment, with the exception of the Broly and the Gods, because their event hasn't been released yet. As far as the Gods are going, uh, there is one other set of units you can work on if you have them, or maybe you you haven't pulled them yet, you do have a chance to pull them during the unit, and I'll just focus on these ones for now. But in part two, these guys are getting an easy A, so if you want to get them ready, you can grind out medals from the advent of um, Omnipotence event. They will need 35 medals each in order to awaken to their TUR status. Um, their super attacks can be grinded out. They are a simple Super Saiyan Goku. So they can be grinded out from any stage that drops a Super Saiyan Goku. I like to use the... Battle of Gods story event to grind out the Goku's uh, super attack because now that it's been made into a DB story, it's actually pretty easy and it's available at all times to pick up his super attack. So that's a good way to do it, um, which is the same one over here on the Gods banner with the other Super Saiyan Goku. So just throwing that out there that I'll mention that again tomorrow. Um, the other... The other one is a Super Saiyan Vegeta. He's a bit harder to grind out because there aren't really many Super Saiyan Vegetas. But if you go to this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Dokkan event, it does drop an SR Super Saiyan Vegeta who you would just have to level up to an SSR uh, Z Awaken, that is, and then use him to feed in. It'll be a 50% chance, but it's still better than using Kai's. So anyways, guys... That is the pre-farming guide for units that are on the available banner of the Super Saiyan Gods. Hopefully this helped you. Um, this is part one, and uh, hopefully it gives you an idea of what you can work on, what you can start pre-farming to get ready for anything you might pull on their banner. Um, if this helped you, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button, and you know, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Um, I, I, I'm doing this for you guys, and I'm really hoping you guys are, are, are enjoying it. And you know what? Uh, in the comments down below, let me know uh, what what units have you pre-farmed so far in preparation for the seven-year anniversary. Like I said, I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, if nothing else, guys, thanks for watching and aloha.